Good morning everybody, this is Deb. Welcome back to my channel. I realize it's been a while since I've done my last video and I do want to apologize for that. I kind of lost my mojo, but I'm back. <laughs> and uh, this is my latest video for Jill Norwood's Saturday Morning Makes. Hey Jill, hope everything's good with you and yours. I um, decided in order to get back into paper crafting, get my mojo back, I would do some paper piecing. And I am inspired by Connie over at Prairie Paper Crafts. Uh, she is an awesome paper piecer. If you want to see some beautiful designs, I will link her channel below. There's also another lady, I believe her name is Sherry. Her channel is called Paper Piecing and Leftovers. Um, she is awesome as well. So what I did is I chose a Marjorie Ann Designs file. It is called Christmas Village Town Train and I figured that would be a good one for Christmas in July. These are the first two pieces of that set that I did with my Cricut. Uh, the Elf, and I, I went by their colors. I didn't really change their color scheme at all. Um, this one measures the Elf. The way I cut it out, it measures 5 and 3 8 inch high. And Mrs. Claus measures the way I put her together almost five inches high. Now as the title indicates uh, it does come with a train and when I scaled these pieces at this height I realized the train was going to be ridiculously huge um, in order to be in scale. Uh, well I'll show you This was, <laughs> this was the train. I mean, it's just huge. <laughs> and um, if you were to use this in a scrapbook layout, you're taking up quite a bit of your page with just the engine of the train. Um, it measures, and of course it's not put together because I kind of, I gave up on this. It, this would be almost eight and a half inches wide. So I started over. Let me put this away. So these pieces are still good if you want to make a card or um, or even do a single page of layout. It's not a waste. Now there are some very tiny pieces with this file. And my Cricut, I have problems with tiny pieces. Mrs. Claus has glasses. And if you can see, this is extremely tiny, thin, at this height. Uh, so I didn't put her glasses on. I don't know if I like them or not. Um, they can be added. And this piece here also comes with, let me see if I can get it out here, I have a picture of it. She's got these little dots as a decoration around her apron. And my Cricut wasn't going to have it, was not going to have any part of that. So my Nouveau drops would be too big. I left it plain. Maybe you can find something later to put on there. I did manage to cut out uh, two tiny little earrings. And that was about the extent of it. So, like I said, I started over. This time I started with the engine. I have the pieces in sleeves to protect them. 
So this is the engine. And the engine measures. I did a four and a half inches high. Well, when it's put together, it's four and a half inches high. If you want to know in Cricut what the overall dimensions are, let me know and I can post that for you. And when it's put together, it is about five and three quarter inches wide. I did glitter up his brim, his sleeve, and his little pom-pom on the hat. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, instead of using the tiny little cutouts, I used some sequins from uh, Cartridge. Is it Cart? No, Cartwright. <laughs> Cartwright sequins. Uh, these are called Moonshine, I believe. This piece here, uh, again, the file, it has tiny little pieces for the green. I don't know if you can see that, the green, the red, green, red. That's a lot of cutting and a lot of gluing. So what I did is at Hobby Lobby, I found this candy striped paper and I just cut out a, a piece for each side. There's also in the picture, you can see, it has some little ornaments, too small, I left them off, <laughs> and that's how she came out. So that's the engine. I'm gonna put down a 12 by 12 sheet of paper here as if it's a layout. I'll put him over here. I, I also figured at this height, four and a half inches, and a 12 by 12 piece of paper, it would leave you with enough room that you could put a four by six photograph and still have, have room. The next piece is a reindeer. This one, um, again, I used that candy striped paper for the candy canes. I don't know if you can see it, but um, I didn't have any polka dot paper here. So what I used was my embossing folder and it just has a little polka dot, uh, a Swiss dot emboss on that. That's the little reindeer. The next piece is, in fact, the caboose. It has your Christmas tree, some presents, and joy. This is a lot of fun to put together. The papers I used were just either in my stash or I got them from Hobby Lobby. The inks I used uh, are also in my stash. Um, most of the inks I have are the Tim Holtz Distress inks, but you know, some people use Catherine Pooler, others Memento. It's what you have. Use what you have. There's that one. This one is a standalone Christmas tree. And whoever gets this, they can um, jazz it up if they like. They can use glossy accents on the ornaments. Um, they can do a little bit more shading if they like. I know some people use pan pastels to highlight with uh, white pan pastels. I haven't gotten to that point yet. <laughs> baby steps I'll get there so I'll put this one over here and then we have the two I showed earlier which is resized now we have the elf I did use the stickles on the 
a little pom-pom for the hat and the brim of her coat. Put her there. And Mrs. Claus. And at this size, there was no way I was going to try and cut out those glasses. Like I, uh, in case I haven't said before, Mr. Claus and Mrs. Claus, they have contact lenses in my world, so no glasses. <laughs> and uh, she now is the right size to go along with the train. So, I don't know if this is all in frame, but this is the set. Oops, let's see if I can get that. A lot of fun to put this together. A lot of cutting, but a lot of fun. Now what I plan on doing is I want to offer this as a giveaway to my subscribers. I will hold a drawing. Uh, if you would like a chance to win this, leave a comment below. I do enjoy having comments and reading your comments. Um, it means a lot to me. You need to be a subscriber. You need to be, I guess, 18 years of age or older. And uh, I will draw the winner probably next week. So that will leave a week for the giveaway. Uh, you will get, the, the person who wins will get all of these pieces. And I will offer as a runner-up the two pieces that are the larger size. So there'll be two winners. Winner number one gets the full set. Winner number two will get these two pieces. Um, I think that's all. I never had a giveaway before, so I'm not sure if I missed anything. But again, leave a comment below. I'm not going to ask you. You don't have to use a special word, a magic word. You don't have to like the video, although that helps me when you do. I do appreciate that. Um, but leave a comment below, and you must be a subscriber. I must be able to see that you're a subscriber. Uh, so that's about it. I hope everyone has a wonderful week and Thank you again for hanging in there to the end of this video. Have a great week everybody. Thank you. Bye